gather round, children. Let me tell you a tale of a sweet little creature who was locked up in jail. He was locked up in jail, but no wrong did he do, unless it is wrong to have horns and go moo. To have horns and go moo might make you seem neat, but not if your father is King Minos of Crete. King Minos of Crete said, as a freak he'll be classified. His wife disagreed, but he would not be pacified. No, he would not be pacified, and he said to the Queen, He's half human, half sirloin. Don't even tell me where you've been. This monster in miniature is not really mine at all. From a safe distance, let's monitor this beast called the Minotaur. I know where to put him where his presence won't needle us. In that nifty new dungeon designed by Daedalus. Designed by Daedalus, the labyrinth was amazing. A maze of passages you could be lost for days in. You could be lost for days in the maze, or for years. Out of sight, the Minotaur became the object of fears. That monster, the Minotaur, is a merciless man-eater. Be a good child this minute, or you'll be on his menu too. The children of Athens were chosen by lot to be shipped off to Crete to that terrible spot. They were thrown in the labyrinth to face the dread beast. It was thought that the Minotaur would make them his feast. And if you listen to most people, they say that's what he did. That the Minotaur found all those children who hid in the labyrinth's passages and tore them to pieces! Until he was slain by a hero called Theseus. But the Greeks liked their stories. I'll tell you the truth, that the Minotaur wasn't a devourer of youth. No, he didn't eat children. He preferred to graze on the dark, loving mushrooms that grew in the maze. The children who went there all perished from fright. Just one glimpse at the Minotaur, and they died at the sight. But Theseus was different. He knew not to judge on what others had told him, on rumour and grudge. While the others had fear, young Theseus had not he? But he did have some yarn given to him by Princess Ariadne. When Theseus saw this half-boy, half-bull, the Minotaur licked him and sniffed at his wool. He didn't seem fearsome in any way. The beast just looked lonely and eager to play. Poor creature, said Theseus, stuck here on your own while your father, King Minos, has the world round his throne. But I cannot stay with you. My family will think I'm dead. I must find my way out of here by following this thread. When Theseus escaped, he tried to explain that the Minotaur was friendly and hadn't been slain, but they didn't believe him. They did not want to hear. It is easier to kill demons than prejudice and fear.